This is a newer style set of the timer fear lights. Now, the timer uh, fear lights or Christmas lights, whatever, I, I suppose you can't really call them Christmas lights these days, can you? Because they're just used all year round. But it's the basically it's a flashing set of lights. I wish they wouldn't make them flashing, but they always make them flashing. And you've got the little button that lets you choose the pattern. And uh, when you select the pattern, it will actually operate on a sort of six hours on, 18 hours off um, cycle. So, that, you know, you set it one night and uh, they'll come on the same time the following night. And it's using that system that it reverses the polarity. And what's nice about this set is that instead of the... The first versions of these tried to use ordinary strings of lights and they used a little inductor as a boost circuit to drive the LED strings and because they required the higher voltage because, well, it was standard, you know, the strings that normally operated about 24 volts. And they weren't very stable because the um, when the battery started running low, the uh, circuit would uh, tend to do sort of weird things. I, I think I've just put flat batteries. I have just put flat batteries in that. Well, that's, that's good for a start. <laughs> anyway, I thought it'd be quite interesting to open this up and take a look at what's inside. Makes mental note to check batteries beforehand, particularly when taking them out of other things. So, um, where is my screwdriver? There it is. Let's pop this open and see what the circuitry is like, because this time they do just seem to be all in parallel, but in reverse parallel for the two channels. If you notice the picture's a lot brighter, it's because I had to cheat the camera by holding in a piece of black foam to try and cheat it into increasing the intensity, because it's just not quite... it's not quite right. I'll work it out. Okay, that's new. Does that chip have a number on it? Using my old Micronta uh, microscope. The chip does not visibly have a number on it, that's annoying, but so common. Okay, what I will say, the chip is an 16-pin chip, is it? No, it's not, it's a 14-pin chip. And it's got three common pins at this side, three common pins at that side, and it's obvious that there's a, a fairly high current H-bridge driver inside that's driving the LEDs. So let's uh, pop this out and see what else there is. Does it use a crystal for the timing reference like so many of these do? Is this going to come out? The battery holder, I think they've sort of, there it goes. Yes, it does use a crystal. So it's got the button. It's got a little inductor facility. Um, it's got the crystal. And then the two little decoupling capacitors to the negative rail to stabilise that crystal. And that's about it. The only other thing I see here is a, what's possibly a little capacitor here uh, just across the battery rails. And that's it. So they've, they've really stri strimmed that down. It's really quite uh, quite small now. They've really stripped it to the absolute bare minimum that they, that they need for that effect. I guess it's a fairly popular sort of uh, product and they just felt that, you know, it justified uh, making <coughs> dedicated chips just for that. It's certainly a lot simpler than the, the original circuitry. Another nice thing about this case is that when you clip the case together, it has a rubber seal around it and you hook it on at one side and then you press down with quite a modest force until it clicks and it does actually seem to seal quite tightly. Um, so that's definitely a step forward. That's, a, that's quite interesting to know that they're, they're evolving like this.